Okay, I think what I gotta do is I gotta get some... I gotta get high enough to jump in through a window. And then I can get further into the building. Unless there's a door over here I can just take? Nay. Oh! Hey, here we go. Okay, these yokai are just assholes. They're just they exist to just confuse you. Hey, alright. Alright. Into the obviously cursed building. Huh. Oh! Okay, uh, are you hostile? Oh god, here we go. I think we are going fatal frame in this. Hey! Good! Good! Oh. What's this? Okay, Garake. Term referred to a style of flip flones unique to Japan, whose features followed a separate evolutionary path from the rest of the globe. Huh. Interesting. Alright. I wonder if that will be somehow pertinent to what's going on here. Oh shit! Oh, I think we do got a security guard! <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just another visitor, but eh. Should have called for backup. <laughs> All right, what's your story? Hey, Pecorino, good to see you. <laughs> Deus Ex with ninja techniques, kinda sorta. It's an open city game about fighting ghosts, more or less. Essentially, all of Shibuya just got spirited away, except for us, because we fused with one of the few people that knows about the ghost stuff happening. And now we're after our sister, who is in the hospital for some reason. Who's apparently been targeted by the leader of what's going on here, the head demon. But yeah, good to see you, Pekka. How's it going tonight? Gathering footage for a game review video. Oh, that'll be fun. What are you reviewing? Alright. Now, I know this opens that, but I can explore over here. Yeah, see? There's something over here. Not that it's above us. Oh, well, the Atelier games. Nice! Oh, hey! Casa Kozo. Nice. Chase one of those. I always wanted to play one of those. I keep hearing that they're just JRPG comfort food. Oh, I see that. There was a uh, grabable up there. But yeah, just cute art style, fun characters, and just the joy of running a alchemy shop and doing basic JRPG stuff, but without constant world-ending threats or something like that. More exposure to Spanish gamers? Yeah, yeah! <laughs> you know what? Keep at it! You'll build your audience one viewer at a time. As the saying goes, stream like nobody's watching and eventually they will. You'll get them. 
And honestly, you never know who's going to show up for some niche thing that nobody else is talking about. Like, I got a couple... I actually got a couple comments on the video I uploaded for uh, Satellite Rain. And, you know, most of the spotlight videos I put up, they'll get maybe... maybe 10 views or something. But every now and then, you, you get something that gets a sustained bit of attention, because that just happens to be what that person is looking for at that moment. And honestly, part of the reason I started streaming in the first place is just to get more comfortable in front of a mic and speaking extemporaneously. I was never terribly good off the cuff, and I wouldn't say I'm good at it now, but, you know, eventually you get comfortable enough, and that lends a level of... Yeah, yeah, here we go. I think it was... No, that's the bathroom. It lends an element of looseness to your speech that makes it more naturalistic. So yeah, the more you literally, the more you do it, the more comfortable you'll get get with it, and the better at presenting the material you can be. I <laughs> say slay things make you popular. Oh man, yeah, I'm glad we're doing the I'm glad we're doing Baldur's Gate. That is that is definitely a strike while the iron's hot situation, and it's just it's just been fun to have a co-op group to go with that game. And, you know, it being live makes it a little bit... Y you're less inclined to save scum and try to get that one perfect one perfect route and instead just go with stuff as it happens. Telia is fun, lets you make big bomb. <laughs> Girls love the flame of origin, explosive of the beginning. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. All right, I guess we got to talk. Tries to hit me for murdering people. <laughs> well, them's the brakes, man. Power at a price. You want that slayer form? You gotta live with the consequences. Yeah, I mean, that's just it. In my solo playthrough, uh, naturally, I save scum like hell, trying to try to get those rolls just right. I need to know things. And it's usually more on subsequent playthroughs where I'm a little more comfortable with what I miss. Okay, I've been tasked with going to the suicide building. Okay, yeah. So we did get some shit from Ghost Suicide Mountain or something. So now we just have suicide building. Yeah. Date with Sakura, Kagari at our usual spot. Alright. My <laughs> shoulder does not appreciate it. <laughs> I note that this guy appears to be carrying his head, which is concerning. I thought he was just kind of hunched over or something, but we appear to have a post-void situation. That said, I do feel like we're going to run into a conflict of interest, because I don't know how Loth is going to feel about you serving Ball. I feel like that's going to be a... A point of tension, let's say. Anyway. Alright. Now we're making progress. Alright, here we go. Oh, come on, dude. like a stun talisman time. There we go. Hey. 
Ah, motherfucker! Actually, can I shoot through that? Apparently not. Oh yeah, no, I did. Awesome. All right. So arrows punch through shields. Ah. Also, they kind of aim high here. There we go. Yo, you did lose it, Ane. You may, Akito Kuma. Yeah, finger is chakra points. <laughs> Alright. I think we found the building inspector. Ha <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> I see what you did there, Zero. Alright, here we go. You might say we've come full circle. Oh hey, what are you? Do we have to, do we have to bust you too? Hey, there we go. Hey, good news! You can make it to your date. Bad news, uh... Well, you know, you'll figure it out. そうか。だからここで自殺者が続いたのか。たく。ところてん見てな<笑> But, uh, yeah, tough break there, buddy. Alright, let's take the Skyrim door and get out of here. Oh, now we're on the roof. Go figure. Oh, they are gonna meet each other. Aww. Yeah, see, all you had to do was wait for a pair of exorcists to walk across and hit to cross your path, and uh, everything would turn out okay. Sure thing, guy, we couldn't even get a name to. Now, I thought I heard another cat. Although that might just be background noise. Hm. I'm always on the lookout for cats. They are notoriously difficult to pet in this game. Because, yeah, if you're not on the same level as them, you just do your little hand gesture thing and they never actually come to you. Which, you know, is very realistic for a cat. give all the orders you want. They ain't gonna listen if they don't want to. Anyway. Speaking of cats, there appears to be another collector down there. Hey, how's it going? Alright. Hey, alright. Model of Tokyo Tower, here you go. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey, what the? Hey, oi! I am. It. Oh Jesus! What the hell is that thing? Oh God! It's like a fucking. It's like a one of those dudes, one of those skeletal dudes from Doom, but also he has head tentacles now. Shit! Hang on a second. Can I stun you? Okay, nope, stun talisman ain't working. Alright. Hey, there we go. Okay. You down? Hey, 
try out this freeze maneuver. Okay, here we go. Okay, be frozen, move slowly, and continued ice damage will have caused them to become frozen solid. Nice, alright. Other than charge rush, they will take a large amount of damage. Alright. <laughs> Jesus! Okay, this ain't even fucking around. Uh, 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 uh. Eat more. Okay, do not get close to the head tentacles. This thing ain't... This thing is playing for keeps. There we go. Gotcha. Okay. So, what the fuck was that thing's deal? Lamentation. A type of visitor born from the isolation of those cut off from friends and family. They hang in midair as they wait for their prey. Alright. Okay, I don't get how loneliness turns you into a hair tentacle face mouth monster, but yeah, whatever. What was that one that was like the predator thing? Here we go. Silent Gaze. A visitor born from confusion anxi and anxiety of one who fears the judgmental gazes of others. They can be difficult to spot, and once they are, it's often too late for their victims. Alright. That makes a little more sense, I suppose. Uh... Circle around. What's this? Missed the battle. Recording left by Ed, huh? Alright. Device hap just happened to be recording when he dropped it. Alright. <laughs> My loneliness is killing me again, okay. Alright, Shibuya Station. Alright. Well, that'll definitely be real easy to search. It's not like it's this massive urban labyrinth or anything. All right. Oh, we got more stuff here. Oh! Chock full of shit. All right. Uh, so, where's our objective now? This way. All right. Ah, right, yeah. This is where we first met uh, Kuchizake-sama. Most memorable first encounter. Monster lady dressed in red, huh? I love where this is going. Walk through the building alone at night. And you'll find a staircase that's not usually usually there. Yeah, this is like something that the SCP Foundation would lock up. Oh, you, really, Akito? After all you've seen, you're going with that line. Alright. Well, as long as we're here... 
Now, what's this about? Curious lunar phenomenon? Oh boy. Yeah, of course. Yep, yep. Collect three things to get the thing. Got it. Locker behind you, huh? Now, when you say behind me... Uh... You gonna help me out and tell me where... Ah, okay. Now we just waited for the quest update. Right. Eh, I'm trying to get out of wearing a watch. Just one more thing I gotta take off before going through the checkpoint. Alright, lunar analysis data. Let's do this. Look for stairs down that aren't supposed to be here. Oh, that's the passage beyond thing. Well, as long as we're here, we'll do that first. Aha. Why are yokai anywhere? Alright. Yeah, see, now we're falling into kind of a numbing procedure of... Find resident talking about weird supernatural phenomena, go there, deal with it, proceed to next one. This is just another day at the office for Akito and KK. Huh. Yep, exactly. There's always a ghost door. Alright. Yep, we got us a boss fight here. Fight the woman in red. Has that vibe to it, yeah. From the blood. Yep. Called it. I'm the master of Japanese folklore. Well, I got bad news for you, buddy. Yep, here we go. She's inviting us in. Yeah, yeah, it's a really. It's a really great aesthetic, and, you know, it makes for a fun bit of combination of <laughs> urban exploration and horror. Oh, here we go. Alright, well. Here we go. Oh, shit. Yeah, we got Turbo Kuchisake-sama, or whatever your name is going to be. Ah! Shit! Hey, hey, hey! Oh god! What? Are you kidding me? Okay. Oh shit, we have actual gameplay th on this. Okay. Some visitors are capable of separating Akito and KK from one another with their attacks. Being separated will cause Akito to lose- Oh shit! So, this can happen in regular gameplay. Bosses can knock KK out of us. Holy shit. Okay. I was not expecting this. Ah. Come on up. 
Oh shit! Okay, Nick! Run! Faster! Eat stuff! Yeah. Ah! Okay. Do we have any more? F Do we have any more fire? Hey, got her! All right. <laughs> I was really seeing red on that one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, seriously, that was fucked up. So, what was her deal? Was that like a turbo slit mouth woman? Uh, not on stream. No, I have played uh, the Outlast one and two. However. Okay. So, what was her deal? Crimson Kuchisake. Okay, yeah, so it is just Turbo Kuchisake. Yeah. Openly having cast aside the mask that one kept it hidden. Haunts prey with ruthless tenacity, its attention ever fixed upon finding its next victim. Got it. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice. But yeah, Outlast was interesting and it's one of those games where I like the idea of it more the more than the execution. Or more that it kind of... For me, it kind of fell apart along specific lines. Like, it was obviously very disturbing, and intentionally so, and I think Red Barrels did a... generally did an excellent job creating the environment and creating a situation where very disturbing things happen. The best thing about those games was the unpredictability of the enemies you ran across. Because, yeah, in the first game, you're in an insane asylum. And most of your enemies are the other people you run across, but they're not always hostile, and not always hostile in these same ways. Like, you'll meet guys that are just patrolling the area like you would in a, like you'd see in a normal survival horror game, but then you'll see guys that are just kind of mindlessly running back and forth. They'll attack you if, the, if you get in their way, but otherwise they'll leave you alone. Sometimes they'll follow you around and just kind of stare at you creepily. A few will actually help you. It made encounters unpredictable in a good way. But yeah, the main issue is it was still just a run-and-hide survival horror game, and I think the narrative didn't quite stick to landing is my main issue with it. Some of the areas were just a bit too annoyingly confined to sneak past the monster. But the monsters themselves, well, monsters, the people, monstrous people, let's say, were generally well done and very creepy. Alright. Get up there, do the moon stuff. Yeah, I was surprised to find that the latest one was like this interesting little co-op survival thing. Not something I'd expect, although apparently it works reasonably well. Like, apparently there's a thing where... Some of the monsters, or the one type of monster, can potentially look like a player, and you won't know until it gets close, because you won't be able to see their uh, character identification. Or it'll be off by, like, a few characters or something. Like, they're specifically mimicking one of the other players, 
but you have kind of an it follows situation where they just beeline for you and only when they get close do you realize that isn't who you think it is. Hey, here we go. Okay. Yes. Time to pet kitties. Hey, what's up, pal? Sitting under the cher bl cherry blossom trees of the park for some reason. Aww. Aww, it's alright, kitty. We're working on this. Aw, thanks, Pecco. Damn it, let me pet the cat. Oh, game, you're fucking this. Okay, can I pet you? Okay, yeah, this one I can pet. What? Read your thought here. Had to get the creeps there for some reason, more or less, yeah. Throw money at the cat. Alright, hang on a second. Let's get up here. God damn it. I saw that. I saw that highlight. Yes, here we go. Yes! I don't care if I gotta hover on air, but yeah. We got a Chris Angel our way into petting cats. Perfect. Jank, but worth it. Alright, how do we get up? Hold on a second. Let's eliminate this problem first. Back to work. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, not seeing a Tengu. Ah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, bad game. Denying pets to the Calico is not cool. Exactly. Drink time, don't mind if I do. Ah, thank you, Zero. <sighs> Keto, get on the damn elevator. Here we go. <laughs> Slendery man, you're fired. <laughs> Hey, what's this? Fuck yeah, haunted watermelon. Ah, here we go. Sweet, I do All right. Tengu watching. Alright! Alright, and the next one is... Of course it's all the way over there. Hey, hey! There's this thing where the game has a tendency to draw your cursor towards a point of interest, even if it's not quite the one you're looking at, or trying to go to. Uh, do, 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 do. Up on this building, somehow. Oh, this building. Oh god. Damn it! Ah. All right, so we got to get up on this building. I hear that. There you are. We. All right. Them haunted chips. Fuck yeah. Anything across the way? No. It tells me I'm not going the right way. Huh. 
do, 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 do. Up we go, up we go. Of course, I'm going to take the down escalator. Why not? first. Alright, keep going up. Work on that cardio, Akito. Ah! There we go. Yep, yeah, we got a bully of Tengu in flight. Whee! Thank you. Alright, yeah, we'll be wrapping up soon. Finish this side quest and maybe another Tory Gate to proceed. Sometimes the side quests are real quick. Deal with this monster and be done with it. Otherwise, oh boy, others are a bit more involved. There's a. I don't think there's a point difference in grabbing the core versus just doing enough damage till they disappear. I think it's just this is how you finish them off earlier. Hey, what have we got here? Nice. That's a very dapper looking Tengu there. Anytime you find some. Okay, it's just for photo mode stuff. Alright. Bold of you, game, to assume I care about that, but eh, I'm sure some get some use out of it. Again, it is a very photogenic game. One day I'll remember this game gives you a shield. Okay. Ah, here we go. Here you go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All the way over there. Uh, I shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna. Valhalla awaits! I mean, look. When fall damage is when fall damage is turned off, you got to do stuff like this. All right, now we got to get up there. I think I see how. Actually, this might work out. I can jump over there to that elevator. We should be okay. Ah, fuck! Right. Yeah, no, we'll just have to jump straight across. Yeah, this might work out after all. Hey! Sequence breaking! I'm sure there's some slog up the side of the building, but fuck that. We got places to be.
Oh, damn! Must have had a red barrel there. Kind of running out of ammo here, actually. A rare situation. Yeah, following like that gives me so much vertigo. I know exactly what you mean. There's that moment I have to remind myself it's fake. But even then, you, I get that moment where I kind of clench up. But yeah, it's kind of fun in any game, climbing tall places, jumping from them, fall damage or not. Yeah, exactly. You got to give it a try. Hey, Robo, good to see you. It's going good. How was the things tonight? I see. ここなら月がよく見えるな。江戸の装置を使ってみよう。江戸はいつもよくわかる。Good Alright. Yeah, see? Moment of vertigo again. But let's do this. Quickest way down. Push Oh god. I'm in danger. The rest. <laughs> yeah. This is proving marginally more contested territory than I was prepared for. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Damn it, there weren't that many of you before. Alright, we gotta book it. We're running out of ammo here. Hey, here we go. Alright. <laughs> oh no, Dementors. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Alright, yeah. Fusion dance, let's do this. There we go. Where's that last one? I see you. What? Oh, shit. Ah, ah. Ah. Ow. Okay, the... Bad juice purple floor thing is really getting around here. Corruption, I guess. I don't know what to call it. We done here? All right. Oh, that was a jam-packed one. All right, clear this level here. We'll turn the stuff into Ed, and then I think we'll call it. Yeah. 
the detection on this is a bit suspect. Like the main thing is your projectiles have kind of a... It, it's kind of hard to tell what the size of them is from all the particle effects on them. And thus, it's a bit hard to make precision shots. Which isn't a huge issue because you usually aren't making precision... Excuse me. Aren't making precision shots. But every now and then, you're trying to shoot through a window or hit a specific target. Like this, for instance. And it's a little unclear if you can actually hit around that branch, which you can with some careful aiming. Or if you're meant to reposition. Not a huge problem, just an observation. Okay, I think we can finally turn this stuff into Ed. Sounded like someone calling for help. Alright, here you go, buddy. What up? Okay, Ed, we really don't have time for... Yeah, we really don't have time for second-guessing here. We just need you to go with what the readings are. Oh, that was a big fat waste of time. Alright. Turn in the Koshiro here and they'll call it a day. Hey, Fallout 4 Vault Suit. Nice. And we leveled up. Nice. <laughs> Alright, yeah. So we got a lot of things to do here. We obviously still have to get to the Shibuya Station and get to the locker. There's... Oh, that's what that is. Oh, it's coming from this thing. Hmm. Fascinating. But yeah, no, we will call it there. And we'll pick up next time. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, tuning in everyone. Have a good night. Definitely enjoying this so, so far. Uh, I will continue messing with the settings. We'll see if we can get it to acceptable broadcast frame rate. But good to know we've got at least some improvement over last week. But yeah, tomorrow night I'll be playing Anachronox. Lots to talk about with that game. Really love it a lot. A lot of... Uh, let's say, missed potential, and uh, especially a lot to talk about with respect to Ion Storm Dallas and their fate, but uh, that'll be for tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone, and see you next time.